Today I got to meet Tiger Woods. Well, that's a dream. But instead, today I got to play Tiger Woods designed putting course called Pop Stroke in Orlando, Florida. There are two 18 hole courses, the red and the black course. They are just different in levels. One's a little bit harder than the other one. It's age friendly, doesn't matter how old you are, what skill level you are, uh, where you come from, it's open to everybody. It's really, really welcoming. There's food, there's drinks, there's music, and it's just a great time. So if you haven't watched my YouTube channel, welcome, I'm Coach Cheyenne, and this is part of my budget-friendly golf series that you're watching, episode number two. If you haven't watched the first episode, at the end of this video, you can watch the full series. But let's get started with Pop Stroke Orlando today. So if you are new to my channel, this series is budget friendly. So not only does the price matter, I give them a five star ranking based on price, customer service, if they have a food and beverage option, what is the golf course condition? Or if it's a golf experience, what does that feel and look like? Do they provide golf clubs, etc.? And the fifth and final one is pace of play. If you're visiting from out of town or if you just wanna know ballpark numbers of how long the golf course, the golf experience takes, then you know how to kind of budget your time that way. So those are the five stars. At the end of this video, you will know what Pop Stroke Orlando received today for all five of Coach Cheyenne stars. So let's get started with price. The rule is under $50 for the golf experience and you know what, they nailed it. So on this receipt, you get to see exactly how much it costs depending on tax as well. It is under $30, it's $25 plus tax for the golf experience, which is perfect. The really amazing part about it is it's an all day pass. So you can play both 18 hole courses if you wanted to, the putting courses, and or you can play one 18, leave if you live close back, come back in the evening and play again. So it's an all day pass. So we check that off as one star, absolutely. Number two, about customer service. So I called in advance, they were really nice on the phone as well. Um, and then when I showed up, they were nice. Sometimes I just hope, like they're getting a full star for this, but little asterisks for other golf courses and golf experiences. It would be nice when you first walk in, basic customer service, if somebody welcomes you and says something like, welcome to Pop Stroke. Just something so simple, which gets the customer excited, I think is something that golf really lacks, to be honest as opposed to other experiences and sporting events. So I hope whoever is watching, and if you have a golf course or a golf experience, it would be nice to train your staff on that. I'll get off of my soapbox, but that they do get a star because they were very kind to me on the phone. And when I showed up with 10 of my friends, they were extremely accommodating and they took very good care of us um, and just you know helped us out. So star for that, so they have two stars. The third one, food and beverage. Now, when you go online, you will see they have an extensive food and beverage option, which is incredible. Everything I feel like in terms of American food is literally on this menu, from nachos to burgers, to french fries, to chicken wings, to all the go-tos, and their milkshakes are incredible. Um, but, Saying all of that, all these options, we're super happy they have them. In terms of our experience and my specific experience, the food just took way too long. Now this is the Orlando one. I don't know if they were overwhelmed because we had a big group coming in, um, but all I will say is that they could have at least brought the appetizers out first for us to start um, instead of bringing everyone's meal out. Um, but that's just based off of me. Um, and then a few of the dishes, like I had the shrimp tacos, highly recommend, those are delicious. Some of my friends that had the burgers, they really, really enjoyed that as well. I think, so there's, the food is good. Um, the customer service in terms of bringing the food out was very slow. Um, and 
I would say the weakest part that we ordered was the buffalo chicken dip. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. So I'm gonna give them a half star for that. And then the fourth thing that we have is golf course or what is the experience, what is the condition like? It is incredible. I, so they have the putting, right? It's all green. And then they have imitation grass, which is the bunker, which is white. And in my head, I kept thinking that it was sand. Like that's how real it looks. It's really incredible. I loved it. Um, my favorite things were that they have in the, in the cup where the ball goes, uh, they don't have a flag stick, which is perfect. Um, they have a light that shines in the evening time when you go. So anytime you putt in, your ball goes in the cup and it's blue or it's red or whatever color. I don't know why, I really loved that. I also thought that they had thought about everything. So we had um, a friend of ours that came with her baby on a stroller. The stroller was perfect. They had no issues with it, which we love that for family friendly. And on top of that, each post had um, what hole you were playing, what the par was, and then they had little hooks around it, which I found incredible. So if you had a purse or a bag or any kind, any kind, anything you needed to hang a jacket, each post had that. And on top, they had this really cool space for your cups for your cup holders, which I thought the whole thing was just incredible. So for golf experience, um, full thumbs up, full star for that one. And the last one is pace of play. They told us it would take about 50 minutes to 55 minutes to play, and it did. Um, and we had beginner golfers in our group who had never played golf. Some of them had never played golf before. So I actually ended up teaching them grip and basic things. If you haven't watched my video on gaps, on putting, right here, click on that after. You should watch that if you're going to, and if you want to learn how to putt, but it's just supposed to be a fun time, which we had. So because we wanted to make sure that we were keeping up with pace of play and also just to have a good time and make it competitive, we played in threesomes. So we had three groups of three. And what we did was we played best ball. It was fun, it was competitive. Obviously my group won, which I'm really excited about. And I know you guys won't believe this because we didn't catch it on camera. But on hole 12 in Orlando on the black course, all three of us that were in my group, we got a hold in one. In the comments below, if anybody who is doing this has all three or four people in your group get a hole in one on the same hole, make sure you let me know below. We'll send you something because I mean, and hopefully you'll catch it on camera because we'll have to see the proof. But we had such a great time. We were all adults over the age of 30 um, and just hanging out, relaxing and living our best life. So to wrap this all up, four and a half stars for Pop Stroke in Orlando. It's an amazing experience for everyone. Make sure you go and check it out in the comments below in the description actually you will see more information on price what they offer and their link and then tell them code cheyenne sent you when you go over there and also let me know tag me on instagram if you end up going and then i always like do a bonus at the end i downloaded the app i suggest you download it as well if this is something you're going to go to and experience often you get pop stroke bucks or something you get a rewards essentially if you use the app to buy drinks to buy your ticket for entry and the coolest thing out of the whole thing was i ordered a drink on the course because i wanted to test it out to see how it worked so i ordered a gin and tonic while we were putting and i'm not even joking you like in five minutes, less than five minutes really, my gin and tonic was coming to me. I don't know how they knew, but they make you tell you like what hole you're in and what course. Anyways, the app is fantastic. I give definitely two thumbs up on that one. So download the app, order your drinks from the app and I'll come right to you while you're playing. It's actually pretty cool. In the comments again, let me know if you end up using the app um, and your experience in general. And what else can I tell you? I'll be also going to Pop Stroke Houston, so I'll let you know my experience there, and I will also give them a five out of a five star ranking. So let's see if they beat Orlando, or do they get the same ranking as Orlando? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to come back next week for my budget-friendly golf experience to see where I'm off to next. 
it will be in Houston. And if you have a local course you go to, which is under $50 or a golf experience that you want me to go and experience myself, let me know in the comments below. I love to see where you guys have been and where you guys go. And I will be in Las Vegas next after Houston. Then I'll be in Miami and I will be in Augusta. So if you have any recommendations, let me know or DM me on Instagram at Coach Cheyenne. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that right now. See you next week.